bar has changed a lot in 15 years, the game space has changed a lot in 15 years, but what we really want to do is make sure we bridge the gap for uh, legacy Tomb Raider fans and also for new fans, to develop new fans of Tomb Raider. The key differences in the game obviously is that it's it's an origin story, it's a young Lara, it's her first adventure, she's untested and unsure and, and somewhat, uh, somewhat new to this space. Uh, but also what's very exciting about it is that it's one persistent location. Whereas in a lot of the past Tomb Raider games, she's been kind of globetrotting all over. Uh, this, this game will take place on one island. Uh, there's a lot of diversity in the settings though, which is great. You'll, you'll get to see a lot of different environments, a lot of different settings on the island. But it gives us a chance to really flesh out Lara's own uh, character development and growth by having her in this one flight, in this one situation, rather than jet setting all over the world. So that's one thing that we're very excited about. We're, we're still keeping the core Tomb Raider pillars, which are going to be exploration and traversal, the, the puzzle solving elements and the combat, but what we're doing is we're taking a look at them through a lens of survival. So we're looking at combat and we're saying how can we make this feel like a desperate situation and feel like uh, it's a necessity of survival. We're looking at traversal and exploration to that lens of survival. And then we're also um, looking at the, the puzzles where traditionally you would have Lara running about, flipping switches, finding keys. We're looking at it as a smart and resourceful Lara who looks at her environment and she evaluates the situation. And she has to learn how to take pieces of her environment and reappropriate the environment to her own needs to escape situations or to solve puzzles. So it's really just taking those core pillars and making them fresh and relevant for today's audience. But I think people who play it are absolutely going to, they're going to feel the Tomb Raider in it. I found a truth. And I knew what I must become. The island is, is absolutely very mysterious. Um, the story is that it's Lara's first adventure. She's 21. Her ship is wrecked off the coast of Japan. And um, the area that she's in is actually called the Dragon's, Tri Dragon's Triangle. And it is uh, the polar opposite of the Bermuda Triangle. So this area, the Dragon's Triangle, kind of gives the staff and the writing team a bit of uh, room to play with the narrative and have, have a bit of fun with the story. So there's a lot of mystery. Uh, you In the scene where Lara looks over the shipwreck beach, you can see a, you can see, you know, old Spanish ships and, and then uh, World War II battleships and planes. And so there's a lot of mystery and a lot to discover on the island. As far as, as combat, we're not going too much into that, but we can say what we've shown of, of, the, uh, of the enemies is that the island has been inhabited for a long time. Lara isn't the first person to, to land there and take up residence. Uh, and what we've shown of the scavengers show that they're very... They're very manipulative and deceptive and very dangerous, so it'll be interesting to learn more about them.